Hey everyone, Rob here. We've got some kind of, I guess, breaking news coming out of Iceland today. Um, scientists flying over the eruption center has now confirmed that no activity is visible and it appears to be extinguished. There is some glow still visible and you can see uh, the Meteorological Agency of Iceland has also posted this in uh, on their Facebook page. The activity appears to have been down late last night, very early this morning. Still possible to see that lava is kind of in some sort of channels. And uh, although they can't officially say that it's over, that uh, more likely than not. We have the live stream, uh, courtesy of Ruv. We have people watching it now. Snilingerfett. And uh, of course, volcanologist Thorvald Thorson said in an interview and asked uh, in this morning, he's talking about how there's no activity visible anymore. He said, safe to say the eruption is now over. Saying the scenario here is similar to what happened at Littrehut this summer, uh, where magma accumulated a depth of three to four kilometers, reached a certain pressure, broke its way through the surface, high productivity at the beginning, and then quickly fell and diminished. He says, classic scenario in such eruptions. Um, but, you know, still never, never 100% know. We have other volcanologists, Armin Hösselsson, uh, and he told the news agency that uh, it's also over. He says, we've just gotten to a point where if the eruptions are big to begin with, then they're very short-lived. Everyone just has to learn to live with the fact that these events can happen uh, again and again in the Reykjanes Peninsula. He, he was asked if it's possible to still see if there's some magma that could reach the surface in the same place or somewhere else in the area. And uh, Armin was saying that you just have to wait and see for the deformation measurements to see what can be expected. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be just something that time will tell. Uh, we have some pictures here from the Meteorological Agency. And it's, of course, the eruption that began on this crater on December 18th. Started with a great force. And the warning was really, really short. It took about 90 minutes from the first signs of the eruption. Uh, and then it, of course, erupted after that. Now, all of this is coming from a magma tunnel that was formed on November 10th. And the magma probably comes from Svartsengi, where the land has risen repeatedly since 2020. Now, in the last 24 hours, the highest activity in the eruption has remained around the middle of the fissure uh, that opened on the 18th. The seismic activity has remained fairly consistent and there has been little change in deformation since the eruption began. Now, the assessment that has now been released has changed very quickly because they released one sort of hazard map and then now within, I don't know, hours, I would even say, they released this second one. You saw in my previous video, they had marked Grindavik, which is down at the bottom here, as a, a red you know, this, this area four as red, which was a high risk area. Now they have revised this to say that it is a lessened risk in this particular area. We still have the high risk in this sort of purple area in the middle, uh, but they issued a new hazard assessment map that's gonna take effect uh, today, December 21st, 7 a.m. And this is valid until December 28th. So the good news for this is now because of this new assessment, the people of Grindavik are able to go back to their homes and they're going to be opening Grindavik to businesses and residents uh, during the day. Still can't stay there at night, but it's going to be open during the day so that people can go through there. Now, although the activity has decreased and it looks like it's probably ending, we can see a little bit over in this area here popping up. Uh, but definitely not what we saw just a couple days ago. Uh, the power of the eruption is still great and is comparable to the eruptions that occurred at Fagersfeld. So it has also been shown that this magma can really quickly rise to the surface without a lot of warning. So we just need to take all that into account um, when looking at the area and the risk assessment. We can see the actual eruption you know this amount of space that has come across over a very short period of time uh, they were saying that had this continued we would see the lava going to the left here and towards the road and towards the blue lagoon but we can also see that they have this sort of fortified area 
in the event that that would occur. Anyone's guess what can happen over the next day or two, but uh, I think as it's safe to say, for now, it looks like the eruption is over. So I hope uh, everyone enjoyed a short-lived, you know, it was it's kind of funny because it was such a big buildup, huge earthquakes, huge news all around the, the world, and then uh, there's a big bang, looked spectacular, and then within like 24 hours, it was pretty much pretty much done, and then here we are on Thursday, Thursday morning, uh, basically saying that it's uh, it's finished. So do with uh, that information what you will, but uh, you know, Iceland being Iceland, I'm sure that even if this one is over, we will see another eruption in the next few months or within the year because the last one before this was in August. So um, yeah, I guess stay tuned. Keep, uh, you know, taking a look at this channel, keeping you up to date with whatever's going on. Uh, again, hard to say exactly if this is officially over or what, because it's only been a couple hours since uh, it's sort of quieted down. But I'll, of course, keep you up to date on everything that's going on. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll be posting news as it comes in, so stay tuned for that. And uh, until next time, thanks again.